What's up, beautiful people? I'm going to come at you from Domination Nation Gym with another uh, comparison video. So I'm going to compare what I think are two of the better PEC fly machines uh, on the market. We're going to compare the Nautilus Nitro PEC fly with the Nautilus Steel PEC fly. Both of these are a decline movement, which is why I love uh, the, the, this, these particular machines. So check it out. <clears throat> All right, so this is the Nautilus Nitro Peck Fly. So you can see uh, it's a decline movement. Um, you're able to put these pads in the crux of your elbow and just follow the path of the fibers of the middle and lower peck. So both of these I find feel better with something behind my back. I've got a, a, a towel in this instance because it gives me more of a pre-stretch. So the beauty of both of these machines is I can superset from my the pads and the crux of my elbow to my hands on the uh, actual pad itself, as you can see. So uh, very comfortable on the shoulders, which is why I like it. Um, the nice thing with both of these machines, this one you'll see, is I can get a, a full stretch. So I like to do interest stre set stretching with these to get those myofibroblasts uh, activated. So you can see I'm doing the superset from the pre-exhaust with the crux in my elbow to actually grabbing it with my hands almost like uh, I was doing a cable peck fly, but but with this machine, so. And then this is the Nautilus steel peck fly. The difference is obviously this is a recline position. It's kind of angled back. This is similar to the old school Nebula peck fly, although I find this is better. This position with my elbows, I find is much more comfortable on my shoulders than like a traditional peck deck where my hands are straight up in the air at a 90 degree angle. So the beauty of this is I can similarly superset from uh, my arms and the crux of the elbow to my hands on the actual pad. So again, both of these machines, particularly with a pillow or pad behind you, allow a full pre-stretch to a full contraction. And I'm able to truly get um, some interset stretching, which is really cool. And it's just very, very easy on the shoulders. So I would say both of these machines are super, super good. Um, I might prefer this one a little bit over the Nitro Plus, just because of uh, the angle, it's it's you get used to it on the other machine, but uh, both of these angles are amazing, but just amazing machines.